Welcome to Neville Goddard Explained. Today, we're uncovering the esoteric secrets behind prayer, and how you can finally manifest your desires using this powerful knowledge. Billions of people around the world pray every day for prosperity, success, and abundance, yet many remain stuck in poverty and suffering. Why is that? Today, we'll explore why most prayers go unanswered and how you can transform your prayer practice to manifest anything you desire. Let's dive in. It's a hard truth. Despite the billions of prayers said each day, many people find themselves frustrated, confused, and disappointed when their prayers go unanswered. You might remember a time when you prayed with all your heart, needing something desperately, only to be met with silence. This can lead to feelings of spiritual abandonment and deep frustration. The root of the problem lies in how we've been taught to pray. Most people have been programmed to pray in a way that doesn't align with the true nature of the universe or the principles of effective manifestation. It's crucial to understand that religious institutions, like any other organization, have their own agendas. Often, they emphasize methods that keep people in a cycle of asking rather than receiving. But today, you're going to learn the truth about how prayer actually works. Let's start by redefining prayer. Most people see prayer as a verbal plea to a higher power, whether you call it God, Jehovah, Allah, the Source, or the Infinite Intelligence. But true prayer is much more than just speaking words into the air. It's about effective communication with this higher power, and like all communication, it requires a mutual understanding. Imagine trying to communicate with someone who speaks a completely different language. If I only speak in Dabili and you only speak Mandarin, we can't communicate effectively. The same principle applies to prayer. To have your prayers answered, you must learn how to communicate with the divine in a way that is understood. Here's the first secret. Prayer isn't about the words you speak aloud. It's a mental process, a form of communication that happens in the mind. The biggest lie you've been taught is that prayer is verbal. But in reality, verbal prayers are only a fraction of what true prayer is. If your prayers have been unanswered, it's likely because you've been focusing on the wrong aspect, speaking instead of thinking. To understand why prayer works best on the mental plane, we need to revisit a fundamental concept. The mental plane is the realm of cause, while the physical plane is the realm of effect. If you want to change your reality, the effect, you must first change your thoughts and beliefs, the cause. When you pray verbally for wealth, but hold a mental state of poverty, the universe responds to your dominant mental state, not your words. This is why many people find their prayers for abundance answered with more lack. They are mentally aligned with poverty, not wealth. True prayer is about creating a mental agreement, a state of mind where there is no doubt, only certainty. It's about knowing and feeling that your desire is already fulfilled. This state of mind is clear, united, and without contradiction. When you achieve this mental state, your prayer will be answered because the universe recognizes and responds to the clarity and conviction of your thoughts. Though I'm not religious in the traditional sense, I've studied various holy texts like the Bible, the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Torah. These texts are filled with esoteric wisdom, hidden knowledge that has been kept from the masses for centuries. Understanding these secrets can unlock the true power of prayer and manifestation. Let's explore three secret verses from the Bible that reveal the correct way to pray. Secret verse number one. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. This verse is a cornerstone of effective prayer. It emphasizes the importance of belief in the manifestation process. The key phrase here is, believe that you receive them. This means that when you pray, you must genuinely feel and believe that your desire is already fulfilled. It's not about asking for something to happen. It's about knowing it has already happened in your mental reality. This is the foundation of successful manifestation. As within, so without. Whatever you hold in your inner world will eventually reflect in your external reality. If you don't truly believe in your prayer mentally, it cannot manifest in the physical world. Secret verse number two. 
But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. This verse contains three critical esoteric truths. Number one, shut your door. This refers to closing your eyes, which are often called the windows to the soul. Closing your eyes allows you to withdraw from the external world and focus inwardly, entering the mental plane where true creation begins. Number two, pray to your Father in the secret place. The Father in this context is your consciousness, and the secret place is your mind. Prayer, therefore, is an inner conversation with your consciousness, the creative power within you. Number three, your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. This means that what you affirm and believe in your mind, the secret place, will manifest in your external reality, openly. The universe reflects your inner state, bringing your mental agreements into physical form. Secret verse number three. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. This verse warns against the common mistake of relying on repetitive verbal prayers. Many people believe that the more they repeat their prayers or affirmations, the more likely they are to be answered. However, this is not how manifestation works. Repetition without belief is empty. It's not the words you say that matter, but the mental state behind them. True prayer is a focused, clear mental statement, not a repetitive chant. The universe responds to the strength and clarity of your mental agreements, not the frequency of your words. How to practice Effective prayer Begin by finding a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes, shut the doors to the external world, and turn your attention inward. This is your secret place, the realm of your subconscious mind where creation begins. Decide what you want to manifest and create a clear, mental picture of it. Imagine that your desire is already fulfilled. Feel the emotions that come with having your desire. The more vivid and real you can make this mental scene, the more effective your prayer will be. Ensure that your mental state aligns with your desire. This means eliminating any doubts or contradictory thoughts. You must fully believe that your desire is already yours. This is the mental agreement, the clear, unwavering belief that what you want is already accomplished. Do not fall into the trap of vain repetitions. Once you have created a strong mental agreement, there is no need to keep repeating your prayer. Trust that the universe has heard you and is in the process of bringing your desire into physical reality. After you have prayed, let go of any attachment to the outcome. Trust that the universe is working on your behalf and that your desire will manifest at the right time. The more you can relax and trust, the faster your manifestation will come to fruition. In conclusion, the only way prayer truly works is through mental alignment and belief. It's not about the words you say, but the mental state you cultivate. By following the principles outlined in these esoteric teachings, you can transform your prayer practice and manifest your desires with ease. Remember, effective prayer is a clear, focused mental agreement with the universe, free of doubt and full of belief. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel for more insights into manifestation and the law of assumption. Remember, you are a powerful creator and your dreams are within reach. Keep practicing this method of prayer and watch your desires unfold.